Hello boys and girls. So what we're going to be doing today is having a look at how to make a character walk in Alice. And the first thing we're going to do is firstly um, get a character. It has to have two legs, okay? So you can't have a character that doesn't have two legs and two arms, similar to what a human is like. And if you remember what this is called, Full day biped class character in Alice. Okay, so now that we have this, let's see um, how it walks. So I'm going to move him back a little bit and I'll show you both angles from the front and then from the side. All right, so you can see that he's moving the legs in time. And let's now turn him round this way. Okay, are you ready? And we can definitely notice he's walking quite well. The arms, you can probably fix that up in your code. And that's a challenge I'm going to give you today. How to make this character walk and move the arms like a normal person would. All right, so you're gonna get out of that. So what code do you think we need to make our character walk today. And I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the um, coding window and we need to start on our code. When we click on the arrow, we'll get to this option here and it's always the one on the right, the little arrow. Once we do that, we need to figure out how the character walks. If you saw in the video, we can tell that the character walks by moving their legs and shoulders in a particular time on each side, on the left side of their body and the right side. So firstly, we're going to get the right shoulder, which should be just here. We want to actually turn this right shoulder, okay? And I'm actually going to turn it to the left by 0.125. So let's run and see what happens. Okay, so we know that this side will be great when we have this happen. All right, next one we want to do is we want to uh, now make it the left shoulder. Easy way to get more code is if you press control on the keyboard and drag with your left mouse, you can duplicate the code. And then with this arrow, you can change what body part it is. So I actually want now the left shoulder. And I'm gonna turn it the opposite way to the right. Now both of these shoulders will move in the same direction. And we're gonna later work out how we can move them at the same time. Okay, so we wanna get the hips to move. First thing is we're gonna copy the code by pressing control. We're gonna get the right hip we're going to move it backward by 0.25. We're then going to get the left hip. And we're going to move that forward by 0.25. Now, why do you think that I'm getting both hips? Well, it's obvious. When you walk, you move one hip generally forward and the other hip has to move backwards. That's just the way the body works. So if we don't do it in this way, the movement of the legs may not look correct. If I press run, we can see at least he's moving the legs in the right order. Like I said, we're gonna fix this up and make it look all in one time very, very soon. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get another block here and we are going to get the right knee, which is just down in the middle actually. And we're gonna 
we're going to turn it forward by 0 0.08. Great. Now that we've got that, the last thing we need to do is we need to actually have the movement. So all the joints are moving, and if you have a look here, we turn him side on. Uh, just hold on for this. There we go. If we turn him side on, and we do run, we can see at least his movement is going well. And this right knee makes it look like he's putting his foot on the ground. You'll see anyway. So now that we've done that, we just need to do one more thing. We need to move this character, well, two more things. We need to move this character forward. And let's have a look at what happens. And we'll just run it now. Good, all the movement is there. Now what block do you think we need to get it to work all at the same time? Why don't you have a think? All right, what did you come up with? It's one of the blocks down here. It's the do together code, which is this one. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this in the do together block. Now, the reason I haven't done the do together block to start off with is that it's easier for me to see the code I make and if I've made a mistake by having the code work in separate actions. So I move one leg, I move another leg. I move my hip, then I move another hip. If I have it all at once, I can't tell sometimes if there's a mistake. So this is a really good way of doing um, problem solving with coding. Break it up into one action at a time. So let's have a look now and see what happens. Awesome. Okay. We're halfway there. Let's as well show you from the front. Great. Now, let's have a look at the next part. We're going to go to the code again. But... Before I even do that, I have one challenge. And this challenge with the code is that he's stuck. Now, when you see people walk, do you see them hold that pose for like 10, 15, 20 seconds? No, I don't see it either. So this is a bit of a problem because we actually want this guy to relax, go back to how he was originally. Big bad wolf. So let's have a look now. We want to straighten joints. Now there's a code here called straighten out joints. If you do any body movement ever and you want it to go back to how it was at the beginning, you just use this code. Now let's see what happens. Wow, okay. I think that looked like pretty much what we wanted. Let's have a look at this way. Excellent. Now, we're, we're pretty much almost done. An easy way when you have movement that is on opposite sides of the body but allows particular actions, this can even include stuff like clapping, for example, or um, using two arms, two legs to jump, is you just copy the block of the do together now that we've made one side. By copying this, we're going to have now two sides move, but we've got to change these codes here. And if you have a think, all we have to do is we just have to change them by the opposite of what they are at the top. So if this one is left, then I'm going to make the right shoulder move right. I'm going to make this one move left. If the right hip moves backwards, then on the other side, the right hip must move forward on the other leg. And that's what we're doing. So, this one should be backward.
we need to just change one part and that is we need to actually bring the left knee so we are looking at the left leg and for that we just go to this code here and we are going to move that forward as well so now that we've done that let's see if we get our character to walk and remember All right, let's show you from the side. All right, rotation, go around. Awesome, although he's stuck. Have a look at my code. What am I missing? I'll give you five seconds to have a look at what block I haven't put in. All right, if you guessed it, yeah, I haven't got the straight and out joints block. So I need that and that's at the bottom again of this menu. Now that we've got this, we should have this to work in one motion. Excellent. Let's have a look from the front great now I don't want him to walk once I want him to walk a few steps so what block do you think we need to make him continuously walk we need the looping block which is called count in Alice I'm gonna do it three times now this order is important you need to put the order that it is up in the top part here so we're going to go to firstly the first two together block then the second there and then this one all right let's go to run Very good. All right, so I think we've got it quite quite well. All right, so we've got that one. Yep, we're all set. I want you to fix one thing for me. My code doesn't have exactly what I want, and that is the arms. They shouldn't move at the same time. Can you make one arm move and the other one go the other way? In other words, can you make this arm move forward and the other arm move backwards? So the left arm moves forwards, the right arm moves backwards, not both arms moving in the same direction at the same time. If you do that, you'll get your walking code looking just like a human. Okay, so I'm going to finish that up. I hope you enjoyed this quick video of how to make your character walk. Remember, joint movement is key to making your Alice animations look awesome. Alright, boys and girls, I will do another video soon. And keep focused. Stay focused on Alice. Thanks. Bye.